Well, we're finally getting there. That's looking pretty good up the bow. I've just been and glassed the last two stringers in the stern. They're all glassed in. And going off as you speak, this is a slightly different colour there. But they're all glassed in, ready to take the needle plast sheet what's going on top of them. I'm happy that's the last of the main glass and work in the floor. All it is is the glass on the deck, so that's a very good result. I'm happy with that. Finally done it all. Well, left the bow section. That's all done, you can see. That's all done in glass. So I'm now going to start doing some flow coating. But before you do flow coating, you've got to prep it. So what we've done, if you look down here, every single section has been rubbed down to get rid of all the bits and pieces. If you get any strands of cloth, they act like little wicks and they'll poke up and go through your flow coat. So we don't want none of that. So every, all these sections have all been rubbed out, hoovered and rubbed out. So looking pretty clean and obviously on the port side done the same. They're all looking lovely and clean. All rubbed out and I just need to give them all a coat of acetone just to activate the surface and activate the surface of the glass. So we're now gonna mix up the flow coat and apply it. Obviously we've got a clear flow coat. That's the flow coat and the pigment. We've got a clear flow coat because obviously what we do the deck a seagull grey I think I believe it is. Yeah seagull grey and what I do the sides of the boat white. So we've got two pigments but obviously this is just for the floor. So that's gonna just be all seagull grey. Well you can't see it because it'll be under the floor anyway. Well, most tins are flow coat, have got these rings around it, you just break the little plastic clip and pull off the ring. But the most important thing is flow coat will be stirred well. It's obviously just flow coat and not gel coat, so I mean it's got a wax additive. Obviously when you if you put gel coat straight on the boot, that wouldn't dry because it needs to have air taken away. But obviously flow coat is all it is is gel coat with a wax additive. So the wax rises to the surface seal it off from the air and then it cure but this one have a good stir you see it's quite thick it's like thick hair gel what some of us can't remember so long ago but that one have a good stir right to the bottom because the wax and the starring in the in the flow coat can drop out obviously if, you, if your wax and your starring is onto the bottom and you don't bother stirring it up when you mix it and paint it on there's no if there's no wax in it that can't go to the surface so it's never going to cure and that'll say tacky forever so that'll be a nightmare so obviously this is a clean stick the old man even rubbed it down to get all the dust and crap off it but obviously we're around the bottom that's quite hard to stir but i always stir it for a few minutes and pull it up to be honest the, the color and everything looked very consistent but because we've got this off a big supplier i'm sure they get through there resin top coats ever so frequently so it's not sitting there for a long while on the shelf but give it a good stir cool. ever so viscous it's like stirring your nan's trifle when she's done the custard too hard but i always give it a stir for a minute or two as i said before we'll give all this a rub down if you only laid the glass in the last few hours, you don't need to rub it down. Just give it a quick flash over with acetone, that'll be fine. But if it's been left overnight, a day or two, just give it a light dusting over with a bit of sandpaper, just to key up the surface so the flow coat stick to it all right. If not, that can come away and delaminate, and that's a nightmare. So just give it a little quick rub over with sandpaper, nothing special. You ain't got to like rub a half an inch off it, just a light going over the surface, that's enough. Well, as that's a clear flow coat, we're gonna add pigment to it. If you look in there, that's settled out a bit, it's gonna be seagull gray, but that's gray in the middle and got all funny color stuff on the outside, but it's just sort of separated. So I'll get a spatula 
and give that a good stir. Obviously, I've got a camera in one hand, so that ain't the best. But I'll give it a good stir. Well, that's the pigment all mixed up. You can see it's a uniform colour now, so it's all looking good. As this is not going to ever be seen again, so it's in the floor, you haven't even got to really use pigment. You can just use the clear flow coat. But that do make it easier. So you can see where you've been, can't you? When you paint it, when it's got current in it. But uh, you can you can use this up to 10% by weight of the resin. But I'm going to use that much just to do an inside of the floor. I just want to put a slight bit of colour in it so I can see where I've been on the floor. So I'll just put a dollop or two. I do cover well anyway. But I'll just put like a, just get the old spatula and I've put a dollop or two in. They say the this flow coat you need between five and six hundred grams per square meter. So I gather there to about here was about one square meter. So I might use do these two sides, I might use about a kilo and a half, something like that, but that's not got to be particularly thick, that's in the floor. These are gonna be all these bits are going to be sealed compartments. We're going to fill them up with play pit balls and then put the needle plastic on top and seal it up. So you put once you've filled up with play pit balls, that then limit the amount of air in there so you then get a lot less condensation. So obviously in boots, when you take the floor up after years, there's always a little bit of water. You might get a slight bit of leak from the top depending on how bad the deck is, but if the deck's still good, you always get a tiny bit of water. That's just the condensation coming out of the air because obviously the sun shine down on the boat and the cold sea water, air temperatures that condensate. So we're going to fill every single compartment up with play pit balls to limit the amount of water, provide for flotation, the cheapest chips, and it's better than any old foam because a lot of them two part foams, all right, they're closed cell to start with, but after a few years they break down, come open cell foam, and absorb water if you've got a leaky deck. So they're a nightmare, but plastic play pit balls don't ever do that do they the plastic and that virtually lasts forever so that's the best thing to do you can get them for like 20 quid for a thousand so not a lot of money that's probably cheaper doing that is putting some foam in what's going to break down and be a nightmare in the future well i've just measured that's like 550 grams of flow coat into the tub Obviously, I said that ain't good. As it's not on the surface, that doesn't matter how much into, doesn't matter how much so much pigment you put in, because it's not going to be for show. So I just get one under a spatula, let it drizzle in, and get another spoon, get another spoonful, and drizzle that in. Oh, that's quite thick as well. And I'll just stir it up, see what colour we get. I haven't put the catalyst in yet. Just give it a good stir. Make sure you get, I always get this back and get it right in the corners. That's where that can stick. And if, and if there's no, as long as you can get it and have clear flow coat where you haven't been right in the corners. Always give it a real good stir. Right around the outside, right in the corners. It's like painting, it's like mixing hair gel. See that, it doesn't take long, that's all mixed in. Nice grey colour. All right, I'm gonna need a lot more, more than 550 grams to do both sides. But that's quite, that's quite warm in here. And a lot of the gel, or I mean, a lot of the resin I've been laying up the fiberglass, I've been putting about 1.25% in. That's been going off so quickly. But obviously when you got like on the stern there, when you've got five layers of glass, that's quite thick, so that builds up a lot of heat. While well, this stuff doesn't, so generally you need more hardener in it. If that weren't too hot, if that was around like 18 degrees, I'd put 2% catalyst in it. But gel coat is ever so thin, so it doesn't build up so much heat. 
but this is going to be the first pot what's the trial pot so i'm going to put two percent in this i will only put like one and a quarter percent catalyst in the resin but in the gel coat or flow coat in this case because it's got wax added i'm going to put two percent in once you give it a the first pot see how long it lasts for see how long you can what coverage you can get and then you can work from there well that's all done now all the compartments to the forward on the starboard and port sides all done all right that's not a shop front finish because obviously you heard the old floor cut out which was a bit wrinkly and crinkly it's not like the external gel coat sort of look but all I want to do is just seal it. So if you get any condensation, I'll just sit in the bottom. I've used two and a half kilos of flow coat to do that. That's surprising, like one and a half of these big panels use about 400 grams and use like 300 in the other three, obviously it's all down the surface area. But the trick, trick with that is don't scrimp, have plenty on your roller. And once you've gone over the area once or twice, don't go back because you'll so obviously when it goes thin, that's opposite to when you're laying resin, this is all doing to take the air away. So once it's thin and laid out, that go off ever so quick. So if you go back over it, you'll pull the surface off, make it thin and do a poor job. So just slap it on fairly thick, roll it out and then lever it. If you start seeing a few streaks, don't go back over it, just leave them. But I'm happy with that. It's all done. Port and starboard sides, ready for the play pit balls to come in a day or two and then we can put the start doing the deck of course relief to finally get this finished but obviously in the bucket with resin because it's so thick in the bucket that generate a lot of heat and that go off but this flow coat is a different beast obviously when it's in the bucket that's when you've got air going to the surface so that don't really that take a long while to go off that's when you lay it out that start going off quick but I'm happy with that one step closer lovely job well, that's me done for the day thanks for watching boys and girls see you later have fun bye